Hello, this is Carrie again and have another video for you today. Um, today I will be testing all these different erasers um, and then at the end of the video I will be giving these two away. Um, also, after the video is over, um, uh, an amazing fan sent me a surprise package in the mail um, and I was waiting for an Amazon package and um, I didn't know that I was getting a package from a fan and the fan did not include their name so I opened the package and then I just basically went through all of the emotions um, and I just thought that, that was really fun so I'll include the the um, it took about a minute and a half at the very end of this video um, so stay for that <laughs> um, the super surprising unboxing where I just go through all the emotions um, anyway so let's get started so what I have done here is I have very carefully and it took me entirely too long to do this I have just layered um, rather than just burnishing one dark layer you can see that I've just gone over repeatedly with these um, just to just to try to see how much it'll erase like let's say you're actually coloring and you want to actually do some erasing uh, so this I thought would be a very good way of testing um, how it does and how it works um, and how it erases everything so um, so that's what I have here um, and the pencil that I used is this um, uh, fabric castell polychromos in phthalo blue and I use this pencil for the most tacky of reasons namely that um, I have it in my in my set of 24 and my set of 120 and I do not really use it all that often so since I don't use it very often I thought that it would be great to give it some use here and to just go nuts um Plus, I remember that when using watercolor, phthalo blue, I think is a staining color. Um, I could be wrong because I don't know the, as much about watercolor. Um, but anyway, but I thought that this would be a great color to test um, and to just layer them up and just go. So um, in almost no particular order, just the order that I thought to put them in, um, here are the various erasers. So we are going to start with just your regular schoolyard pink. This is just a, a right, like my wife is a teacher. Um, those of you who've been following me for a long time know. And I just got this random, you know, eraser at her, at her, um, teacher store that she has like there's a teacher store in New York City, apparently, and they have all sorts of art supplies. And so I just got one of these at her teacher store. So this is just a random teacher eraser and it actually is doing really well look at that see that don't judge a book by its cover look at that wow that is you know what I'm gonna pause and get my brine brush right, I am back and um, I actually got this dusting back brush from my friend Amy it was on my Amazon wish list and at the time that I put it on my wish list I did not realize that this was made with real horse hair um, I probably would have gone with a synthetic version had I known, but I have it, so I'll use it. Um, I will put a link to it in the bottom if that's something that doesn't concern you. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I just would, you know, I try to avoid those kinds of things when I can. I'm not trying to get political. It's just, you know, everybody makes their own choices, and those are the choices that I make. And it would just have been nice to know, so I would have made my choices accordingly. Um, anyway, so I'm telling you, because the description is not going to tell you, so I'm telling you. Anyway. Um, speaking of Amy, she sent me a care package a few weeks ago and it came with two of these just random black erasers. So um, I thought I would test these too. So that's the only thing I don't like about the ones that come like wrapped in paper. I feel like it's never, when they give you room, I feel like it's never enough room. The ones that wrap, but the Fabric Castell one is the same way too, where I had to. Um, all right, that did okay. They both did okay. I mean, these are not erasable pencils, so you're gonna see, you know, you're gonna see marks. Um, Amy claims that I I am a Faber-Castell fanboy, and I'm neither confirming nor denying that. I'm just saying that I have all these erasers here. Um, <laughs> all right, so the next one is this white, uh, white PVC-free one. Um, some of these I don't know if you can get in sets. Uh, I don't know if you can get individually or in sets, but whatever information I have, um, I will put down in the description below. Um, because they're being silly, but it is what it is. So this came in a set and it is not doing as well as one would expect, but it is here. It's kind of, it's kind of, you know, you kind of got to force it. Let me try to do one line 
for all of these. Just try to see what they do when you only have one line. Actually, that's what I should have done in the beginning. I'm going to do it again. Just give it one quick back and forth. Just go one quick back and forth and see how they both do. You know, depending on one quick back and forth versus actually, um, you know, working it. All right, that's one quick back and forth. All right, so we're seeing that. All right, next one is the swivel. Okay, that's the black. This is the swivel. I really like these erasers. Um, I have a big one and a small one of these. I really like these. Uh, I feel like I feel like they work really well, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they do. It could just be in my head. I think they work really well. So we'll see. Also, the kind of paper that you use will affect the erasing. This is a multimedia. Um, this is multimedia B paper. It's a Canadian company. All right, the black one. This, I think, is mainly for graphite, but we are here, so we may as well test it. If I remember correctly, this did not do that well on colored pencil. And let me do one quick back and forth. All right. That's the black one. This is the green one. I've never tasted, tested the green one on um, colored pencil before. I've only tested them on regular, regular paper. And let's see, okay, the kneaded eraser. This is another one of my favorites. Um, oh, I put the black one here. That should have been the blue one. See, that's how you know you have too many Faber-Castell erasers when you're putting them in the wrong order. Hold on. This should have been the blue one here which gets in there. I mean, I got to press pretty hard, but it does get in there. So you can see. All right, then the kneaded eraser, which is one of my favorites. Um, I like the Faber-Castell kneaded eraser over the uh, Polychromos, not Polychromos, Prismacolor kneaded eraser just because um, this is easier to mold, but I think performance-wise, it should be the same. And this is not really meant to remove all the color. Rather, this is meant to just lift color up, and it does that very well. So this is really used for, like, fine detail if you want to reach just a specific shape. And then you can knead them, and it sort of self-cleans when you need it. Like that, and then you can do, let me try to see if I can do a small shape. And you're supposed to pat it rather than, rather than, um, you know, rub it. Um, so there's that. Uh, so that's the kneaded eraser. And let me try to do one quick line back and forth. And it does do a little bit back and forth. It definitely does lighten the areas up. This is the eraser that I use when I talk about um, blending with an eraser. Which is actually fairly simple. You just put the colors you want to mix together. And then you pat the eraser over and then what's left is going to be like really softly blended and it gives you a nice effect. Um, anyway, uh, next eraser is the Tombow uh, Light Sanded, which is this one. Um, I've, I, I like this one for graphite, but I have not tested it on colored pencil. And I'm having to press pretty hard and we'll see what we can get out. All right, it does an okay job. All right. So you can really see the difference in the, some of these when you do just one pass versus when you try to like get it in there. This is the sanded eraser. And I think this one is mainly for um, pen and ink. That's how hard I got to hold this because I'm and this was included in the colored pencil set that Tombow sent me for review. And I did not like that at all. And I told, I, I said it in the review that I don't think this was a good choice for an eraser to include. Because what this, this is really an ink eraser. Because what this does is this really gets out the white of the paper. And this actually removes the tooth of the paper. So when you try to go back in, it doesn't really work as well. So... There's that. 
I'm going to actually have to clean this. Some of these erasers I'm actually going to have to clean with the kneaded eraser. Um, anyway, so you can see the sanded eraser doesn't really do that good of a job anyway. And then we'll try to do just a quick back and forth line. Like I would have to keep working it. I'd have to clean the eraser and then keep working it. And it would eventually lift off. I don't know if you can. You can't feel it. But it definitely has lifted off the tooth of the paper. On this one here. And we're getting to the bottom. We're getting to the very end. This is the Derwent. Um, this is a, one of the erasers that was included in their sets. They include these erasers in like all of their sets. Um, and I don't know if you can buy these individually. Uh, here we are trying to erase all right so it does a good job all right so these do a good job you can definitely see the difference um, I think if you if you press hard for most of these you will get a lot out um, you know, and then you'll get in various degrees of, you know, getting out the eraser. But where you really see the difference is when you try to do just one line. Sometimes you want to just gently lift a little bit of color up, especially with colored pencil, since you're never going to be able to get it to be all the way white, even with this sanded one. I'm going to try again because I feel like the sanded one should have been able to get more out. Um, I mean, I said in the I said in the review that I didn't think including this was a good option. That I didn't think this was a particularly good eraser to include in this set. There's like there's like little sand particles in this, um, so we'll see if it'll let me review if it'll let me get out more of this uh, this white here. Um, all right, oops. All right, and the last one is the Derwent battery powered eraser. This will make noise, so be warned if you are sensitive to noise. And um, this is not really intended, you can see here, it's not really intended for erasing like large areas. It's more intended for precision erasing, like for getting out, you know, specific shapes. Um, and it does kind of move a little bit on you, so you gotta kind of have to have a little bit of control over it. But you can see that um, if you wanna do small areas or specific shapes, this eraser is really good for that. Once you start trying to do larger areas, it doesn't really work as well. Um, I mean, it works, but it's just tedious. You can see that it's just tedious once you get to that level. But anyway, if you want to do just fine detail, this is the this is a great eraser for doing um, fine detail that's not ultra fine. It's just kind of a little bit fine. This eraser is perfect for that. So. Um, I feel like we're almost at the end, but as I was thinking about this, I was like, you know what would be fun? It would be fun if I just tried to go over a little bit, not like not, not burnishing it the way I did when I first did it, but just like gently going over it and see how it feels. Oh, this feels like there's definitely tooth missing here. Um, you can go back over it as you can see. Oh, this feels much better. This feels much better, much more like there's a little bit of tooth remaining in this one so this one definitely feels much better so this one feels okay amy's mystery black eraser is doing good just out of nowhere the swivel eraser oh my god this feels like this feels almost like i didn't erase it just feels like i'm working on a flatter paper as opposed to I'm working on something that was um, that was erased, if that makes any sense. Like I'm working on a paper that originally had less tooth as opposed to working on something that was originally erased. Um, now I see why I like that swivel eraser. This is the this is actually the black eraser. It says blue on there, but it's actually the black eraser. This is actually the blue eraser. We'll see how the blue eraser works. Oh, this is like slick almost. Um I'm not sure about this one. This one is like slick almost. I'm not really sure about that. Um, oh, this is okay, actually. Once again, this feels, it doesn't feel as smooth as it does right here, but it feels okay. I mean, ultimately, when you have as many layers as I put in, and then you try to erase it and then go back in, it's not really going to feel the same, but most of these feel okay. 
Um, a couple of these do not perform well. Um, the school pink eraser, I think, is so far the worst. Amy's mystery black eraser is actually doing really well. The kneaded eraser should be fine. The kneaded eraser feels the best. It feels like... I literally could work with the kneaded eraser and get it back to the same shade as the other one and you won't even tell the difference. Um, all right. So the Tombow Light Mono Eraser. This feels, this actually feels really good. Um, this actually feels really good. It didn't get it as white as some of the other ones, even though I was pressing pretty hard, but it does feel really good. And then here's the sanded. Oh, this feels bad. I maybe even want to close up on this just to show you that it feels like, I don't know if you can see, but I'm going over this area here and it feels like there's almost no tooth left. So that's the feeling of this, is it really does not feel like there's as much tooth left. This one feels the most like the original. Hopefully you can see. The school pink also feels, this is gonna be a little upside down, I'm sorry about that. But the school pink also feels like a lot of the tooth is gone. Amy's mystery black eraser is kind of okay. And then um, the other Faber-Castell ones, the, um, the swivel one I think feels the best out of the Faber-Castell ones. Um, maybe tied with the long white. I think it might be tied with the long white. Um, you know, some of these feel really minusculely different, um, almost to the point of feeling very much the same. So there's there's that. Um, this this one, it definitely feels like the tooth is gone, but it's not it's not irreparable. Like you can go back over it. It just feels like there's less tooth to work with in the battery eraser. You can go back over it, and you can see that you still see some of the texture of the paper. Um, the sanded though, I don't know if you can see the sanded, you can see how I'm going over it and I'm pressing relatively hard and it's hard to get a dark tone. All right. And the last one is going to be just your base Derwent flat eraser, which is once again, okay. This is definitely good. All right, that's definitely good. So in conclusion, it's sort of, if you want, um, the difference that you see is when you want to go back over it or if you want to only erase very lightly. That's where um, some of the erasers definitely perform much better than, than some of the others. The, the black and the blue Faber-Castell erasers did not do well with just the one line. The kneaded eraser did, you know, what it was supposed to do with a light layer. Um, some of the other ones did, you know, considerably better. Um, the Derwent White did really well, and the Faber-Castell Swivel, as well as the Faber-Castell White, did really well as well. As well as Amy's Random Black Eraser. Amy's Random Black Eraser is coming in as an unsus un you know, unsuspected, you know, hint. Just a random black eraser. So, um, so, yeah, so that's the moral of the story. You know, don't judge a book by its cover. There's all sorts of different... Um, erasers and they all have their qualities and what's good for you know what's good for them and and so on and so forth but overall I'm fairly impressed with most of these erasers um, I suspected the Tombow Mono I would put at the very end of the list I already put the Tombow Mono sanded eraser at the very end maybe this one second second worst and you know the rest are various degrees of passable so I say whatever eraser you have I mean it's you know, they all have their place. I, I don't think you need to go out and buy any particular eraser. Um, I see now why this one is a favorite of mine. And um, and I think that's I it. I hate to interrupt myself, but I forgot to mention um, that in order to win this, there will be directions down below on what to do. So check out the description below and it will give you directions on how to win this uh, set of... I added this other pencil since it worked so well. I thought I should share the joy. I hope Amy doesn't mind. Um, and this will be the package that will be going out to one lucky winner um, in the U.S. And all of the information will be in the description below. So I hope you guys like this video. If you like this video, like this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the little miniature um, 
the little miniature unboxing of the gift I got from a fan. Word of caution though, there is some adult language in that because I have a potty mouth and when I'm not on camera um, or when I'm surprised apparently, I do curse a lot. So if you don't necessarily wanna see that, um, thank you so much for watching so far and I hope you appreciate the warning and um, I will see you guys next time. Bye. All right, um, hello, I got a box in the mail. I am a little anxious because it doesn't look like there's any padding. I don't know if you can hear that, but that doesn't sound like there's any padding in here. And what's in here was kind of expensive. Um, I basically got my Google AdSense money for, I want to say three, it was either three or four months of videos. Um, and I got my Google AdSense check, so it was just over a hundred bucks, hundred and something bucks um but anyway um i'm kind of nervous because i don't know if what's inside is going to be damaged so i hope that it's okay but it didn't really what the hell this is so not my my okay i did not order this um i don't know what this is um Oh shit, this is from a fan. This is from my wish list. There's no card in here. Holy shit, this is different than what I thought it was. Holy shit. Um, there's no card in here. So whoever sent this, thank you. Ah, I'm so excited. Wow, thank you. All right, bye. Okay, buddy.